Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I'm doing something a little different. Don't have my traditional intro or outro because I've been so very busy lately with my big jigsaw puzzle display. I'm not just displaying the epic 54,000 piece travel around art graphic a jigsaw puzzle, but I have a whole bunch of other puzzles out and interactive elements and signs and posters with information. It's taken a long time to prepare. So finally this past weekend, I was able to sit down and I thought, I just want a puzzle. I want a puzzle, something that I know will make me happy and smile and just record. So I actually recorded this um, full speed, like normal speed, and this is just sped up quite a bit. And I thought, what would make me happier than a color gradient Ravensburger Crip jigsaw puzzle? It's so lovely. So a few things to comment on. The colors, gorgeous. They're almost pastel. They're lighter. They're not so bright. And I really enjoyed that because it was different. A lot of the color gradients that I've done have had brighter colors. These were much more subtle. In fact, like the centerpiece almost felt grayish, like a very light purpley grayish blue. It was beautiful. Now, is it just me or do the Crip pieces feel thicker, maybe sturdier. And maybe it's just because the puzzle pieces themselves are bigger, so they just feel sturdier, but they're, they're really nice. And there was just a little bit of puzzle dust at the end. It didn't feel like there was as much as the usual, like say thousand piece Robinsberger jigsaw puzzle. I didn't mind it at all. So this puzzle has 631 pieces. It's the exact same cut as the gold crypt jigsaw puzzle from Ravensburger, which I've already done on the channel. For that one, I was unable to do it without the solution key. I had to use the solution key. Now, this one, I did not use the solution key, but I definitely had an advantage that I had already done one. I knew what to expect. I knew the pieces don't necessarily go in the direction you expect them to go. I knew the overall shape of the jigsaw puzzle. I also have previously done the pink and the silver Crip jigsaw puzzles. Those two both have the same cut. I have yet to get my hands on the black or the metallic mint. They both have the same cut as well, which is again different. I think they have a few more pieces than this one. And then Universe Glow, I believe is the last Crip puzzle that Ravensburger released. And that one glows in the dark and is even more difficult. And I can't wait to try that one as well. Now, you can actually order your own Ravensburger Crip puzzle that has this cut, the cut that's in the gradient one and in the gold one. And you can order it in any color I think that you want. I'm not sure if you can put a design or a photo on it. Wouldn't that be amazing? Now look at this. How much do you love sorting a color gradient puzzle and just seeing those colors blend together in a lovely big circle. I had so much fun sorting this jigsaw puzzle. Now people have told me, oh, don't worry the gradient. It's so easy. You'll be able to do it in no time. I had to speed this video up so much or else we'd be here forever. <laughs> Thora, I, I am so sorry. This is working from home with a monkey and she is barking in the background. Nah, love, it's all done. I know you wanted to say hi to everyone. Apologies for that. So people have all commented how easy the gradient was. Now you're going to watch me struggle and that's fine. Struggle right here because I started with like the darker purpley colors, the darker kind of bluish purpley color and it took a long time to get going. I was having trouble. I was stuck. And I know the pieces don't go in the direction you expect them to go. But this is sped up, what is it? 1,500 times? <laughs> yeah, so overall it took me two hours and 40 minutes to do this jigsaw puzzle. My hat's off to you, to anyone that has done it faster. And if you've done it slower, that's fine too. I completely understand. I honestly thought it would be easier than what it was. It was tricky. And also, I mean, I can see, especially now watching the video, I see shade differences. 
I see them. But when you're right there staring at them, things tend to blend together. And, oh, it was quite tricky. But then now that I've gotten that corner sorted, look at this. It feels like I'm just getting piece after piece after piece and that everything is coming together quite nicely. So it just felt like I was slow going perhaps, getting that first kind of purpley bluey section started. But then after that, I felt like, oh, well, look at this. I'm doing quite well. And I felt like I was doing okay. I had a bit of problems with the bright yellows, which is funny because I knew this is where the bright yellows should all go. But then I think it was the P shapes and their orientation and which way they went that tripped me up. And then finally at the end, you'll see here, I stop working on the greens and I leave them till the end, but I did quite well there. I did a whole section quite quickly. I was very proud of that. But at the end, when I come back to the greens that I have left over, that took quite a long time. I really couldn't distinguish the shade difference between one piece and another. But I had so much fun doing this jigsaw puzzle. I really did. If you like gradient jigsaw puzzles, you will love this one, yes. If you're, it's a bit more of a challenge, perhaps because of the piece shapes, because the fact you go, well, shouldn't this piece kind of go in this direction? And I did trip myself up by convincing myself that a piece went a certain way, a certain direction, and I, I had to stop and go, no, maybe you should consider that this piece goes, you know, at some funky angle, and it did, and then I was like, oh, okay, now I can keep going. And once again here, it looks like I'm doing really well. But again, this is significantly sped up. I loved it though. I just sat down, closed off the world. I think I had something on Netflix playing in the background. Don't even ask me what it was. I just really loved putting this jigsaw puzzle together. Although it had its tricky moments, it was a nice challenge. It wasn't frustrating though. It wasn't frustrating. It might be frustrating for someone that's not done a crypt jigsaw puzzle before and doesn't know or expect um, the pieces to fit the way that they do. But because, you know, I wasn't frustrated at all, I was familiar. Now, would you order this jigsaw puzzle in a custom color? I probably wouldn't, I mean, I love purple and all, but I don't feel that I need to collect one in every color or multiple colors. If you could upload your own image to them, I would definitely do that. I would definitely do that. Yeah, you see here now I'm at this bright yellow section and yeah, it's a bit trickier. I'm getting there, but remember this is significantly sped up. So it's, it's, it got me, it got me, it was tricky. I was glad there was no like, the reds and oranges are, are tough on me. So in this case, I figured out that after the reds and oranges, it's definitely the greens. And it does depend on how much shade variation there is within the colors and between the colors. But yeah, I, I just enjoyed it. And I'm hoping that my next video will be the video about the full display that I have going on. Today, I'm recording this in the morning and then I have to run down to the display because I'm going to hang out there three afternoons a week to chat with people. And I'm actually going to do some speed puzzling demonstrations as well. And so it's just been really, really busy, really busy. And uh, I hope you don't mind that I'm just chatting away and just enjoying a jigsaw puzzle. It's so funny because I know, I mean, I did this and here I am watching this and I love seeing it come together. <laughs> I just love the colors. Absolutely love the colors and the finish. Did I mention? It's just a lovely matte finish, no glare, no excessive shine, just a beautiful feel. Love it. The quality, the quality of these puzzles is just nice. It's, it's really top notch. I maybe had one or two pieces with some bent prongs, but that happens. I could have bent them as well. Not a big deal. And um, I would like to see other variations of gradient colors in the Crips series, perhaps brighter, bolder ones, or even color block images. I would love to see that as well. Now, this is where, you know, maybe at the end, I start to get confident because I think, oh, I only have one color left. 
Oh my goodness, I could not see shade variations all that well. I had to resort to piece sorting. I really did, because every, every piece just looked the same shade of green. And even though you think, oh, look at another corner, and the way the pieces lay in another corner, like why don't I refer to the yellow to figure out how the green works? No, yes, it's the same shape in the end, but the pieces are cut differently to make those shapes. Some pieces are similar, and, but it may not be too helpful. The reason why you saw my head in the shot there is that often I stand up and I do a top-down view to try to see if I can see shade differences between the pieces. But at the end here, this I was just really stuck. This is so sped up, so you can imagine how slow and how long it took me to do this last section. But I loved it. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I absolutely loved it. I enjoyed the challenge. I liked how parts of it were felt so easy and parts of it felt trickier. And I just love seeing it come all together. Even from the sorting process, making that big, beautiful, colorful circle, just enjoyed it. It brought me so much joy and just, you know, just, yeah. I really loved it. I hope you enjoy watching this come together. Have you done any of the Crypt Jigsaw puzzles? Which ones are your favorite? Now I'm down to just the last few pieces and you're gonna see me do the pickup test. It was amazing. It picked up no problem, stayed together. This, and you wouldn't expect that because of the weird shapes and cuts of the pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!